As you most likely already know, civil rights was one of the main issues in the United States in the 1950s and 60s. In this video, we will look at major events during that period, but also at civil rights issues we are still facing today. First, let's look at key figures of the civil rights movement. One of the first to take a stand for equality was Rosa Parks. When Rosa Parks chose not to give up her seat on a bus for a white passenger, she was arrested and the black community she was from started boycotting buses. This lasted for over a year until the buses became desegregated in 1956. Another key figure is Martin Luther King Jr. Some people consider him the most influential person in the civil rights movement. He chose not to be violent, but instead led many peaceful marches, sit-ins, and spoke to thousands of people concerning civil rights. A third key figure is Malcolm X. His approach to civil rights was different to King's in that it was more aggressive, but they both were strong advocates for civil rights. Now let's look at a timeline of events during the civil rights movement. In 1948, President Truman signed the Executive Order 9981, which says that there shall be equality of treatment and opportunity for all persons in the armed services without regard to race, color, religion, or national origin. The 1950s. In 1954, the Supreme Court ruled in the case of Brown v. Board of Education that segregation in public schools is unconstitutional. This overturned the Supreme Court case of Plessy v. Ferguson. In 1896, a man named Homer Plessy who was seven-eighths Caucasian and one-eighth African descent, sat in a white-only railroad car, which was against the law because Plessy was classified as black. When Plessy refused to move to the car designated for blacks, he was immediately arrested. In the Supreme Court ruling, state laws requiring racial segregation were upheld under the doctrine of separate but equal. This means that as long as the law allows for a white section and a black section that are equal, it is fine. Brown v. Board overturned separate but equal, saying that separate education facilities were inherently unequal. As we discussed earlier, Rosa Parks was a key figure in civil rights history. In December of 1955, she refused to give up her seat in the colored section of a bus to a white passenger. This was essential in desegregating buses in 1956. In 1957, Martin Luther King Jr., Charles Steele, and Fred Shuttlesworth established the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, also known as the SCLC. This was an organization that based its principles on nonviolence and civil disobedience. The SCLC became a major force in the civil rights movement, with King as the president. He said it was essential that the civil rights movement not sink to the level of the racists who opposed them. In September of 1957, Nine black students were blocked from entering Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas, on the orders of Governor Orville Faubus. President Eisenhower sent troops and the National Guard to intervene on the behalf of the students who are known as the Little Rock Nine. The 1960s. In 1960, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, also known as SNCC, is founded at Shaw University. It provided young blacks with a place in the civil rights movement. In May of 1961, students began, began taking bus trips through the South to test out new laws that prohibit segregation in interstate bus and railroad stations. These groups were called Freedom Riders and were attacked by angry mobs along the way. On August 28, 1963, about 200,000 people joined the March on Washington and congregated at the Lincoln Memorial to listen as Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech. On July 2, 1964, President Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which was the most sweeping civil rights legislation since the Reconstruction. It prohibits discrimination of all kinds and provides the federal government with powers to enforce desegregation. In the United States today, there is legal equality for all but there are still individuals that will discriminate on various grounds. The African American community still deals with problems today. These include high school graduation rates, the HIV AIDS epi epidemic, and various other issues. However, there are many positives with the African American community also. 
for instance, more African Americans and other ethn ethnicities are becoming prominent figures in politics. For example, Barack Obama was the first black president. Hispanics in the gay community are also minorities that are discriminated against. Both groups, however, have overcome many controversial issues, such as gay marriage. Affirmative action is another controversial issue that deals with many minorities, especially African Americans. Affirmative action is the idea that colleges and businesses should assist minorities in getting accepted or hired. Some people think that this is an unfair advantage, whereas other people think that affirmative action is a useful program to help minorities. This was developed and enforced for the first time by President Johnson, and it is very controversial to this day. Remember, even though many laws have been passed to eliminate discrimination, individual discrimination still remains today. 